Tires are warm. Car is with full tank. We have so many people on a racetrack. The racetrack is wide open and we are ready for some action. You gotta slow down, but well, look at that. He's slowing down in the middle of the corner. What a bitch move that is. Yes! Yes, 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 yes! Honey, I am going home! Yes! <laughs> yes! Wow! Oh my god! <laughs> what? No! No, 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 no! <laughs> So now, James, they've changed the regulations concerning the air boxes and the wings, and yet you're still extremely fast. How do you do it? Big balls. Check this out, check this out. Oh my god! Ah! <laughs> what? Have to slow down a bit. He can hold it, he can hold it, let's pull away. Let's do it one more time. We are doing it. <laughs> yes! Can't believe it. Ah! Please break, please. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> <It really laughs> <laughs> hello, Doki, hello! Baby, let's go press you! Oh, yo! Oh, yo! I need to save fuel, baby! I need to save fuel! Oh, yo, yo! Alright, this is. This, guys, never do that. Never, ever, if you are in a race and if you are fighting with someone, never do that! Look at that! Arkin is gonna win! This is a rough battle! <laughs> Arkin win the race! Ay, 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 ay. <laughs> Double overtake! And I'm gonna use the puddle! <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah! Am I the best or what? Woo! <laughs> You got to be shitting me! Yes, 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 yes! And going for the win in eSport WTCR, race number two in round number two on the Nürburgring Deutschleife! Woohoohoohoohoo! Yes! Yes! Oh, that was some racing, guys! That was some racing! Hello, I have been expecting you. I have been expecting you guys. <laughs> hey guys, welcome, 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 welcome today to a very special and very different uh, stream as usual, as you can see right away with this little biter. Uh, today we're gonna do a sampling GD Omega Art Cockpit uh, with a with a XL RSC. I don't know. Maybe somebody's trying to say that I'm fat, but I don't know what they're talking about. So we will see. We'll see what will happen, guys. I'm I'm expecting a lot of cringe and a lot of issues, and we will see. We will see, guys. I hope you can hear just a little bit of music, please. And yeah. We'll get right into it, guys. So, this is how it's gonna work. I have my girlfriend's computer there, so I can read your chat over there and there. Uh, audio quality will be probably very bad, so I'm apologizing for that. And we have the two boxes over there with a seat and with the things for the rig. I have my tools over there, I hope I have enough. 
I'm absolutely not sure if I have everything, so it might be very cringy and very hard because... Because... What? You wanna help? <laughs> oh my god, thank you for the help! <laughs> Alright, my dog is already a big helper, so... Well, you will probably see just a little of me, but... Hopefully it's gonna be good guys, hopefully it's gonna be good. I had uh, I had like play some KCNA stuff music, so hopefully it's gonna work. I assume my dog's gonna be running to the to the place and it's gonna be knocking everything down. So we will see, we will see. <laughs> my pro tip prevent the dog from biting you. <laughs> yeah, you see I just turned it on because uh, my girlfriend we, we rebuilt this uh, room, so my girlfriend is more happy, so like there is a there was here was my old, like before my cockpit was here, you know, previously and right now it's over there at the wall I can actually show you probably, right? I should probably show you So... Okay, my dog will probably bite the camera This is how I race right now Hey! Get out! Get out! Leave the camera alone! So, this is our, like... Fui! <laughs> Okay, we will need to lock the dog or something. Before my my computer was here with the with the acoustic foam, but right now my girlfriend wanted to change the room so we have more space, which is more logical. So right now I'm like at the window taking all over the don't mention the dust please uh, all, all over the wall here, and I have my old rig here GT Omega 001. And I have like everything here, like the proper green skin and such, and the room is like more spacey, you know, so it's much bigger and might, much better. I don't know why we didn't do that at the beginning, to be honest. So, yeah. We need to change everything, you know. Thank you, George! By the way, this video is not sponsored by GT Omega. I made it myself. They sent me the cockpit and I was like, okay, we can assemble it together on the stream because I remember there was a lot of cringe. A lot of cringe going on when the Gamer Muscle was building the cockpits. So I was like, okay, let's do it itself. And you know, Zal when it was streaming it was so funny, you know? My friend Zal, so yeah. And I was really tired because we were like six hours in the mall buying Christmas stuff and we didn't buy nothing. So I got myself Coca-Cola as a gift. Red pill, of course I of course I, I lift. Can't you feel it? Can't you feel it? <laughs> so, yeah, let's get to it. By the way, guys, you will probably today see a lot of my ass, so I hope you will not mind, you know? So, hopefully it's gonna be okay. So, we have basically two boxes here. There's a big box with the seat. It's here. I'm gonna probably ruin my girlfriend's computer and everything here. Yes, joke. You can see I have a super helper with opening presents. And then there's the small box with all the stuff, you know? So you can see my dog will probably help with everything. Destroy it! Destroy it! Eat it! So, I need to put this chair somewhere else. Hey Scott, I wish! I wish Coca-Cola sponsorship as well. <laughs> it's not like sponsorship, it's partnership, guys, okay? There's a big difference. No! Open it! Open it! He's just biting in the, in the box. <laughs> Bite faster! It's gonna take four hours! This is gonna take a long time, guys! Here! Here! Ready! 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 <laughs> This is gonna be old string, guys. This is gonna be very long. <laughs> no, you see, I mean, like, nobody told me to do this, you know? I'm doing it myself. Look at the dog, it's gonna take ages. It's gonna take ages. <laughs> at least somebody's having fun. <laughs> alright, alright, alright. I'm gonna open it myself then. I'm gonna help you. I'm gonna help you. I'm gonna help you. <laughs> Lassie, love you. This is 
is a free will video. Nobody told me to do it, you know? That's what I mean. Oh, oh. She loves boxes. She loves boxes because she know every time we order a food for her, it's always in a box like this. So my dog loves these boxes because she's expecting to get a food, you know? Because she's always delivering, always delivering food in this box. <laughs> I think dog is happy. Wow, half bitten box. Woo. I don't know how you guys, but I love getting new stuff. I love it. If you want to send me something, I'm always open for that idea. Because I love new stuff. There's only chair in here. Wow. Woo. I love new stuff. I really like new stuff, guys. Ooh. Holy shit, it's heavy. Oh my god. Ooh. Fancy that. Fancy that. Holy shit. <laughs> Fancy that. Wow. Looks fancy. Brand new. I like it. Oh. oh. It's gonna hey <laughs> it's gonna feel good on my tushi <laughs> I'm glad it's XL because like I'm not saying I'm fat you know but you know <sighs> Wow Woo, last yellow XL <laughs> Wow This looks more fancy than my old one I must say look at this Smells new. <laughs> Smells like a new car. Ooh. Nobody farted in that yet. <laughs> my old my old GD Omega has like thousands of farts inside. <laughs> this one is brand new. No farts. <laughs> no farts inside. We'll get rid of the box. It's gonna keep the box, huh? Wanna keep the box, baby? Wow, this looks way better than my old one. I want to show you the difference. Wow. All right. Let's see the difference. Whoa. Like I can see like this part over here. It's like it's like so deep on my old. You know, it's like there's like hundred thousand parts inside. You know, so it's holding by, by just by that after seven years. I must say this one looks really really nice. The new one. Ooh. Wow. Ah. Ah. Watch out. Watch out. Watch out. <laughs> Alright, this is gonna be good. I can't I don't understand why somebody say it's small. This is exactly for my fat ass. Exactly for my I have even more space because these fights are small than the old one. Nice, 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 I like this. So we will put it aside because I don't think we'll need it for a few minutes. But the black one, I love it. I love it. I love the, like, the, the black leather and such things. And how much wider is it? Huh, give me a second.
So, Schmidt wanted to see the difference. Like, I'm gonna measure the seat area. On the old one, it's 32 centimeters. On the new one, it's 39. So, Schmidt, for your ass, for this part, on the old one, it's 32 centimeters or 33. And this XL one is 39. So, seven centimeters wider. So, yeah. <laughs> so, seven centimeters, man. Hey, Norman, hi to Bermuda, Bermuda Islands. Greetings from Czech Republic. So, seven centimeters, seven centimeters wider is the XL version compared to the old one. <clears throat> All right, let's continue. Open it! Go! My... <laughs> I think she's having the most fun. What the, can I do, you know? But she's slow. Go faster! <laughs> oh, she started, see? She's open. <laughs> No, 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 no. She got better in opening boxes, see? She's, it's a perfect dog training, you can see. Oh, yo. She's angry at the box. It's so heavy the stuff inside. Crazy. I'm gonna let the light in your rig. I hope everything is inside the box. Hey! some extra time, you know? Zal is looking forward because Zal wants to see extra pain. And I have no clue what is the half of the stuff inside the box, you know? This is just probably for the pedals. Hey, 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 hey. Take your own box. Fui, fui, fui. <laughs> she wants all the boxes for herself. Yeah, Schmidt, I have a carpet over there and in the next room for Berg uh, and some other stuff. But I don't care about the floor. Hey! Hey! <laughs> Fucking teeth! Have you seen the teeth? He just stole it and ran away! No! Wow! I can see a big difference in the quality compared to the old rig. Because the old rig was like, uh, like, li like little, you know. Rolling parts. She's so happy. She's so happy. <laughs> I'm gonna be sweating like crazy, guys. I'm very sorry. My dog is the happiest dog right now. Hey Penta! Hey Mitch! <laughs> Alright. Hey 
my dog is the happiest dog right now. What did you stole? Take this. Take this. <laughs> she can't decide what to steal. Hey yeah, guys, I'm sorry. This this stream is gonna take ages. I'm not doing anything like like this is not the time. You know, beating Zal is gonna be basic easy. So you know, beating Zal's time is gonna be totally easy today. So I'm not in a rush. Does anybody know how long time it took for Gamer Master to build this? <laughs> That would be nice cooperation. if my dog is cleaning or something but she's definitely helping a lot but the problem is she's she takes the stuff and she come back with it you know if she would take the stuff and go away I would be happy I must say I can see a lot of difference between the old one and the new one in parts like you know on old rig on the new rig all the parts are square but on the on the old rig, which is seven years old, it's like one of the first rigs from GD Omega. Everything is a uh, circle, you know, circle. This is mine. This is mine. This is mine. Fui. Nesse bicho, sei. Sei. Sei de um. Pat. Ah. Sei. Pat. 
Assembles for the chair, I assume. Oh, I'm sweating like crazy, guys. Running out to the door here. <laughs> Why did he add? Well, better stickers than uh, the rest of the stuff, you know. Hey! Oh my god, how many bubbles? Of course, she can! PewDiePie, of course you can, but there's no room here. There's no room now. She can sit, she can lay down. She can uh, roll over. She can turn around. And of course she can misbehave a lot. Huh? Huh? She can be pissed a lot, you know? She's like in a puberty right now, so she's really, really annoying sometimes, but she's good. I assume, right? Need to get her on a proper training after the new year, but there's no time right now. Okay, I need to be careful because I don't want her to eat the screws. the worst part opening this I hope you guys are having fun <laughs> okay I think this is for a keyboard or something like that right I will not use that but yeah I'm sweating like crazy we have a little mess here. I don't know why. I don't know if I should let my dog here now, but yeah. Hey! Oh! No! No, 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 no! No, 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 no! No, no, no! Okay, let's leave the dog for a bit. <laughs> it's great, Norman! I'm sweating a lot guys because I'm a little fat, you know? So, what should we start with? As a manual, it's like this. Very easy, not complicated. Like IKEA, huh? So the front frame, center bars, it's gonna be easy, no problem. No problem. So we have the center part, do it like this. Ok, 
Okay, basically we started and I'm fucked. But this is simple, you can place the... What does this belong? This belongs like this. If I'm correct, or the other way around. Let's go into this. this you put it here and then you put it into the hole some other hole all right depends what angle you want so I'm gonna be definitely going for my angle which I'm using for years now this is the way how we do it home part connect it to this part on the other side it's gonna be easy it's not like a, like a proper like do that, do that, do that. So you have to basically start yourself. It's like it's like a long part or something. But they say like pedal mount, seat mount, center bars. I'm just reading, you know, I'm just not doing anything extra. You have a central bars, but which ones those are? It should be these ones, I assume. This is the central bars. You place in here, <clears throat> right? Easy peasy. Easy peasy, not squeezy, guys. Yeah, but when you have, <laughs> when you have IKEA, it's easier. <laughs> you always know what to do in IKEA, you know? It's like. Step one, step two. This is next level shit, man. Next level stuff. Now I don't know what's what, you know, there's more stuff than I need, so that's not like don't need one of those. These parts I need for the pedals. screws you know so I need to pay attention on the dog guys is it? this is gonna be impossible guys with the dog <laughs> I'm telling you nice and easy for the win boys we can do this there's a little bit two more holes than I need though but yeah afraid when my dog will be here she will be a little annoying you know and uh, I don't want to like <laughs> make something fall at her Fui. Fui. Maybe I can go a little bit lower to see with me. 
free net. So basically, you just give the angle for repels, you can assemble if I'm correct. And I don't know if the center bar need to be in front as well. It's like left me on the picture though, so I think so. I think I need to put the center bar inside as well, like below the pedals, you know? Like in the side. There's gonna be one here. All together, you know? 100%, yes. 100% sure. Yeah. You go like this. You put it together. You see, you don't need manual, it's easy. Easy. My girlfriend would do this without any issues. Faster than Zal. I assure you. My girlfriend wouldn't be able to do this because it's heavy, but otherwise I think she would do it no problem at all. Hey! Stop playing with my tools! Where's everything? Where are you putting? Where did she put it? There it is. Uh, my dog is a white Swiss Shepherd, by the way. Uh, her name is June. She's uh, five months old. Five months. Does, does, does. You have a center bar in here, like, you have a center bar below the pedals here. Then you have a pedals, you can align them as you want, and that's it. Very easy. You know? I would say this is easier than assembling the other cockpit that I was doing. It looks like more gentle, easy thing to do. There's no pro cockpit, it's our cockpit, you know? So it's art. <laughs> love you, love you. It's a very easy thing to get together. I must say, like, compared to my first cockpit, this one is so far easier. Because, like, you look at the manual, you're like, what the fuck? Then, like, one minute later, you just know. Don't worry, guys, don't worry. I will not eat, uh, let my dog eat anything bad. Hey, free! She's just checking everything, you know, she's not doing anything bad. Are you? Don't eat my menu. I need it. Maybe. There we go. Exactly the same, you know. I think this one should be alright. Hey, Juno.
saying yes, my dog can be annoying sometimes. <laughs> this seems to be far from each other, so I don't think I'm doing this correctly. Is that like a longer one? So far to each other, from each other. I need to put it closer on one side. Yes, I look at it now, now because it's both the same. You basically just unscrew the parts. Just unscrew the parts, put it like this into these parts, you know? I think. I assume. Oh, this is a ball This is a ball <laughs> What do you get? What do you think? You know, you can assemble this. So when I'm sitting, you know, I'm gonna be sitting like that. I'm gonna have my holding for my wheel here, you know? you know so I need to go for outside overtake a little bit so I need to realign this port here ouch if I know what I'm doing wrong you know I probably just screwed it too early that's why I couldn't uh, place the front for the pedals because it was too soon to do that, you know, because as you guys said, I should first do the rear part connected to the front part, then everything will be correct. Just, you know, you have to say when you're wrong, you know, and I was wrong right at the beginning. You know, when you're assembling a key, I know, you have to start a little bit slower. I was trying, you know, to overtake everybody in the first corner just like win the race right after start and that's not the correct way you know yeah i'll just have to you know do some changes here and i'm gonna be able to do it properly therefore the front will be more aligned and everything will be fine just as we're supposed to so perfect Perfect, perfect, perfect. You know, I'm the guy who can say he did something wrong. I'm not the guy who says, you know, I'm not, I'm right in everything. So I just, you know, I was too excited, fast assembling, and he needs to unscrew this a little bit so we make a room for the this nail bar here. Yes, which will make the cockpit align. You know, I was really like instead of like having this like this. The front was like this. Uh, instead of I was having it like this, the front was like this. You know, that's the reason. 
Don't you dare to eat my bolts. Don't you dare, you little rascal. Masinko, I love you. So thank you for telling me that I'm wrong. By the way, something different on our channel. I hope you enjoyed the unpacking with the dog. <laughs> hey, uh, Norman, I don't think so, no. Maybe in the future, if I will be like super rich, I can go to full motion ring or something like that. But like my dream is to go like a triple screen in the future, you know? I li I, like my, my dream for sim racing would be to do real racing <laughs> but <laughs> no seriously like uh, I would really like to have a triple screen set and uh, to have like uh, to have like uh, two separate computers you know one for racing one for gaming that would be really cool that's like my plan in the future so yeah this is just nice for GD Omega because they, they have seen my videos that I have a very old first version, seven years old of GD Omega. So they sent me the new one before Christmas to start a nice partnership, not sponsorship, but partnership. And yeah, it's nice because you know, my old, my old scene is very good, but of course the new stuff is always welcome. Nice, perfect. Now everything is perfect here in the front, exactly as it was supposed to. <laughs> Thank you, Majidi. Racing games are very important. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Joel. I'm just trying myself, man. So, like, if you, if I would have money, you know, so I would get, I would really like to get like a triple screen set with two computers, you know, separately for that and that. That's my dream. I'm not like a fan of VR so far, but yeah, now it's gonna be perfect. I'm not like a big fan of VR or such things so far, but I assume in the future I will be. But right now I really wish like, like for past 10 years, I always wanted to have triple screen set up, you know, but it's a very expensive thing to do. You need a powerful computer, you need two, good, three good screens, and it's not that easy, you know? And so I really like would like to have that, you know, like a triple screen, and I'll be happy. And two separate computers, that would be sick. So now I can place this. <coughs> it's gonna be on this part. Very easy to do. Sit myself because my knees are all ready. You can change the the line and everything. You can uh, change the angle, by the way, as I can see. It's pretty nice. On all GD Omega, it was all different, all difficult. I'm really curious how different it will be, you know, uh, when uh, putting together. <clears throat> you know, it's gonna be hor worse or better. You know, because I'm used to my old rig. I'm like very used to it because I use it for seven years. So obviously I, I like everything about it. I'm used to position and such, so I really want to have the same. So I'm curious. I'm curious. I don't think I have any angle on my old one. I'm not gonna screw this tight because uh, obviously I need to put a wheel on it and such things is gonna be later. It's gonna happen later. like this you know I'm not gonna screw it up screw it so 
You're like, I never, I can't, you, you, if you look at me right now, guys, I'm sweating like crazy. So I really am not a good person for VR. Like whenever, even if I buy the goggles for skiing, which don't sweat, I always get sweat, you know? Is it backwards? I don't think so. Or is it? It's like a proper way. David, is it, is it really? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter, David. I'm just, you know, I haven't screwed it up. So I just place it together. Because I need to put everything on it. I think I need to change the alignment. Oh my god, it's gonna be so hard to put the pedals and everything on it, guys. It's gonna be so hard. So, but basically, what we will do, we'll just, we can change the, you know, the height and the angle here. We can turn it around if needed. So now, let's put together the rest. I think the hardest part will be to put together the seat, you know? The seat will be the hardest part. <sighs> So, we're gonna just use this. I know where to put it. All right, I need to put it here. I have to bring it a little bit. Don't worry, she's not eating anything bad, she's fine. She's just eating a box. <laughs> okay, like short and long station bars. I don't like which ones I need, so I will need to put it together in time. This is the back part. It'll be like this. So I think I will need the long ones actually. I'm gonna do for it fast measurement. We have a new subscriber. Thank you, subscriber, by the way. <laughs> oh, okay, David. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I will. I will fix it in a second. I'm just. I need to align my pedals. So I'm gonna align it with the old rig. So I need. I want to have the same size, you know, the old rig and the new one I need to be perfect, same. So I know I will change the alignment and size, but you know, for start, I can use the short extension, but I'm going to use the long one though, I think. Just to be sure, you know. Put it on the outside again. Always the outside, guys. Always the outside. So, they really like this. It's actually very easy to assemble. You don't need any extra tools or anything, you know. Put like that, Frank Frank. Might be wrong, but yeah. Is it the right wall? Oh my god! My ass is showing, sorry! <laughs> Apologies. Sorry, YGD, it's a big bass, you know, not too high. <laughs> it's not orange, it's black, man. Black with orange, black and orange carving clients. Not 
The way's out tonight. Why is he deep? You bastard. I knew it's gonna be cringy. I knew it was gonna be cringy. Why is he deep? You know. Which one's that? That's too much shouldn't be screwing this, you know? This is a good angle. Should be good angle, I guess. So, this is the basic. And um, we need to get put, put together a chair. It's gonna be the hardest part because the chair is fucking heavy. And yeah, this chair is movable. direct wheel so I don't know. I would say it looks sturdy, it looks much more So that's the only difference. Hui. I love you too, Joe. Fui. Fui. assemble the chair until tomorrow. It's gonna be hard. <laughs> oh my god, it's gonna be hard. Man, this is gonna be hard. It's like every part is so heavy here. But I'm not Zal. I'm smart and nice and beautiful. Where'd you go? Wait. 
Which you cars free will be finished before I will be finished. Please assemble, you know? I hate this part. I hate this part, really. I need to be very friendly. sweat on my chair all right we just put it together with the chair easy what's that you man opposite way. <laughs> I know, I know. Mitch, I know. Why did I listen to Mitch? Why did I listen to him first? So, place like this, you screw to these parts. But first, you need to sit on the chair and remove the parts. And then,
Millions years later. I did a doo doo. I made a mistake. I made a big mistake. I made it even in that card now. But I will not surrender. I will not give up. Those English bastards will never get me alive. And when I'm talking English bastards, I'm working to the very hard movie, okay? Those English people are taking our wives, taking our land. But I will never take my freedom. Of course you think. Of course it goes to the worst screw ever and the worst part ever. Oh god damn it, what have I done? What have I done? He never put it here. What the fuck? He never did it like this. I'll never be able to do it like this. From far, yes. Probably. Maybe. Honestly, I don't know. From the rear part. Impossible. Let me go that far. <sighs> Guys, I'm sweating like crazy. Be glad you don't see it. Why did I even listen to Mitch? How do you do this easy way? How do you do this the easy way? Tell me! I beg you! It's like a super small room. Put a screw here. And take this. Put it on. Through the loop. Hey Potter, you're so talented! How do you do it? You, it's like, it's like a magic. Love you, Bobby. I don't know why, but my girlfriend is questioning my intelligence. Okay. Far down, I have oil on my finger, but it's okay. Oh, it's fault. Oh, fuck, blind me. Oh, fuck. What have I done? No! I like a super small space to put a screw together. It would be easier to remove this part. Do it yourself, but no. I want you to struggle. I want you to struggle on purpose. Like an idea. I need to beat those time! <laughs> hey Raymond! Thank you guys for offering help. I will do it myself, I right, beg right, yeah. Right? Alright! Easy! I'm sweating like crazy, guys! Seasal! Seasal! Huh? I think Zal is crying at his home. He's watching this and he's like, no, how did he do that so fast? I was struggling for hours. How does he do it? Is he a witch? Is he Harry Potter? Harry Potter is nothing. Nothing against me, okay? <laughs> Easy. <laughs> Now, because of 
the rails. But it's okay. It smells like racing in here. It smells like a race car. It smells like a race car now. No problem. I honestly don't know how Zal was struggling with this. This is so easy, you know. If you have the right tools, there's no problem at all. Put your pants up. Sorry, Steven. degrees in my room now. I need to open the window or I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die here. It's freezing outside but I don't care. Central, you know, I'll be sitting in the middle. And yeah, that's gonna be easy. So I can turn this part around, I think. Screw it over. The best piece of advice I have. <laughs> Enjoy your pizza! For any creative space is if you're doing what everyone else is doing, you're doing it wrong. So tomorrow is Lemon 24 hour race. If my chair is gonna fall off or apart, you know why. stream I have done. What is Simtech? Is it a ring? Simtech, sorry. Is it like a super racing ring or something like that? I don't know. Whatever guys, if you want to get something cool, if you want to get GD Omega or something like that, you're getting 5% discount using your code. If you want. Ah, oh, the bit is straight though. Is it?
think of people who are like super like working with their hands, they're like laughing at their eyes all the time. For example, Thomas, my friend, he's like always using tools. I think he's having the best time watching. Zal is definitely like, wow, he's so good. There's nobody from GD Omega watching me. not right but I don't care right now I feel like uh, I place the extensions too far I don't think I need a long extension for the for this like I'm sitting too far you know uh, yes so you know you know places are so you have a pedals like that you can sit you know Whew. but I feel like I put it too far like I don't know maybe I'm not I have this to check <clears throat> it compared with my old lick looks further this is gonna be better. There's gonna be more, more room, you know? I haven't forgotten anything, but I'm just like checking like what I can do, you know? So we can place it differently, you know? So you have like extensions over here, so you can place it, you know, if you wanna sit like closer, you can use the different extension so I'm gonna be seeing closer, but of course you can use the seat, you know? So I assume because my pills would be really far now, I need to put it closer. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna use the short midsection as well. 100 percent So I can put this like this, unplug, unplug. I'm very sorry guys, my 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 socks are being so dirty right now. I'm a dirty, dirty boy. Oh my god. So dirty. Oh no. Because of the dog, not me. It's not my fault, I'm clean. I feel like the pedal space, like this space, is much better on this cockpit than on my old one. My old one is so sh like small, you know, in this part. Yes, oh. <laughs> I know. I know, mate.
good. See you later, man. So this should be better. I need to break for La Mom, by the way. So, oh my god, this chair is so big. So this is the proper way. I'm gonna be like sitting like this, for example, you know? Up like that. But look at the old old brick. This is like the way I will do it, you know? Good girl! She's such a good girl! She's such a good girl, right? <laughs> Sorry guys, she's annoying little girl. My little girl, right? <laughs> She like my coffee. <clears throat> she like my rig. Is it good tea? Is it good tea? Is it good place to be? Huh? <laughs> like dog. Shoop. Shoop dog. Oh. We have a new subscriber. Thank you so much for subscribing, Mark. So, we have the easiest part done. Side. I need to unplug everything. That's gonna be hard. Everything that's gonna be hard, it's gonna be difficult. 
I have my headphones here. I come and prepare, guys. I'm sorry. My headphones here. I'm just gonna stick it here. So, I place this higher, apologies. So like a basic part of the rig is done. You know, here, you have these holes where you can place the screens holders. But I don't have that because I don't have the, I don't use the screen holders, you know? So basically I need to unplug everything here. And um, yeah, I can see right away that I need to put the pedals higher from, uh, Oh my god, there's fur everywhere. So I need to unplug everything, like the power from the pedals, from the from the wheel. My camera, no! I need to unplug my camera. Hey Happy! Alright, all man! I need to cut the cables now! My camera, no! My awesome holder for the webcam, pedal cam, no pedal cam tomorrow guys! <laughs> Cleaning this space. You don't need to unplug. Yes, on the driver, exactly. It's unplugs itself, to be honest. Oh my god, unplug everything here is gonna be the hardest part ever. I'm not looking forward. This is by the way guys, this baby is seven years old. It's a GT Omega 001. <laughs> it's one of the first bricks I think they did. We have a yeah, the holder. For the shifter, which I don't use, the shifter for my shifter, which I don't use, it's gonna be easiest part to get away. I think I haven't used this thing for ages. Okay, I'm using this. If you notice in my videos, this is not for sweating or anything. It's like because. I was lazy, and here is this, there's a screw which makes a hole in my leg here. You can see it probably on the camera, this part, you can see it here. If I'm racing a long time, I'm just resting my leg, and I'm making a hole in my hand, you know? So, yeah. What's for sweating? Why do I use this? So, I'm, no, I used this baby for so long. There's even not there's a little rust here because of my sweat. <laughs> That's all. But yeah. It's my old shifter. Never used that. This way. I will bolt my uh, wheel to the rig. Same the pedals, you know? This is bolt. Everything is bolt, you know, here. So it's holding together perfectly, you know? So, we need to clean these up. You can see my wheel is like, it's like super, it doesn't move at all, you know, it's so sturdy. Like, if you are sitting in a rig, you know, it's like, it's so like, you can use it so hard before you move it, you know? And, I wonder, <laughs> hey, that's my headphones. Phew. What kind of screws we do have here? <laughs> no fui. Oh, sorry, making hole in my leg, of course, yes. Thank you, MJ. vacuum as well when I'm when I'm done with the rig with this one I need to use vacuum cleaner guys to clean the carpet I don't understand why there is no carpet coming with this baby you know with this baby I got a carpet GD Omega there's no carpet with this one I'm gonna give them negative review <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, this is gonna be fast, MJ. The battles will be the hardest part. Thank you so much for subscribing, guys. Thank you for the likes. There goes the wheel. Pretty! Oh my god, the dust! <laughs> There's dust everywhere. Like, literally everywhere. I will definitely need to use the vacuum cleaner, guys. Because this is dirty. Oh my god, no! No! No, 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 no! No, don't tell. Please tell me I need to. I can remove this. Please. No! No way! No, 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 no! No! Has anybody got a chainsaw or something? Because. This is in here, <laughs> and there's no way I can go around it. Maybe through here? Yeah, I need to unscrew some parts on the old rig to remove the pedals. It's gonna be hard. Grab it, guys. I need to get the get the drink. Professional, right? I told you guys. I'm professional. I'm not Zal. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Alright. This is gonna be hard for it. I need to place this somewhere. I will need to remove this part, unscrew this, unscrew the pedals, and go through. This is gonna be fucking impossible. I was like, I hope I can like disassemble the pedals from the side. It should be possible, I think. Like if I unscrew this. Mom. 
guys, for the S camp. Please don't judge me. I know I'm fat. I know I'm fat. I'm fat. I know. Run, run. Oh, it's just a poke. Oh, it's just a poke. I'm going to talk. This rig wasn't disabled for, wow, <laughs> for, for seven years, guys. Sorry for the S camp, by the way. There's no other way. There was no other way. It has to be done. <laughs> Red pill, fuck you. <laughs> No, Mitch, I will do that, but Mitch, I will do that. The problem is, this thing is around this. Get it? <clears throat> I need to basically just open this so I can go through with the pedals, you know? Screw the pedals. For everything is a different screw, man. I know what I'm doing, boys. This is a plan. Put your buzzer. Buzzer, you. Buzzer. 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 Why am I not doing it today? These bells are heavy. Fuck. Buzzer, you. Fui. No, but I need to, man. I need to. My dog is stupid. Yeah, she doesn't understand the pain. Free. Free. Oh. Free. Free at all. Mazzy. 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 Shoot. Fish. Fish. Wait a minute. There is so much. I need to get a vacuum cleaner, you guys. I'm sorry, I'm gonna be vacuum cleaning a bit.
Sorry, guys. Some carpet with the pro pro stuff. I got the art stuff. There's no vacuum cleaner. Uh, there's no carpet for me. The new one. I think you have. You must have the best time, guys. GD Omega It doesn't come with this Look at the cable management now Holy fuck We have a beautiful lights here by the way Ready for you And this is you guys over there This is Schmitty Enjoying but you can't see but You can't see Put the, uh, the worst part will be to put the pedals on the vacuum on the. <coughs> I just want to keep saying vacuum cleaner for now on. Uh, what a Eric! God damn it! So, we need to put the pedals here, but I don't know how, I need to first put the wheel here, so I need to first put wheel on the top so I know how far to put the pedals. Is it simple enough? <laughs> Otherwise, I don't know like where to put what, you know? This is sturdy, I love it. I love it. And it's a little bit balding, but it's awesome. So first, we need to put this on the top, I think. But some people already said I have it wrong. So 
Let's see who's right and who's wrong, huh? I think I have it right. It's not screwed it yet, so I can do some alignments. I'm gonna check the bolts. Oh my god! Almost died here! Almost fucking died here! Bloody hell! So I don't see the bolts at all. <laughs> oh, there they are! Oh, is it? Nope. Juni boy. <laughs> I need to figure out the bolts here. So I'm gonna do a little little playing right now guys. I hope nothing will fall on my head again. I don't wanna say David was right, but he was probably right. By a wheel, you know, this is pre screwed for every wheel you have, so you just need to turn this thing around. That's it. It'll be easy adjustment. Thank you, David, for telling me I'm right. I'm wrong. You don't have to go the other way around. Not this way around, but yeah. Who am I to judge?
grace. I think it's enough, you know. You know, we are just chilling here, boys. Just doing nothing. Hard life of sim racer. Killing the box in the next door. Don't worry about the noise. Oh my god, a donation? Are you crazy? Hey, we're working on legendary $10. Feeling up very so hard today. Thank you so much, David, for your support. <laughs> Thank you so much, man. Hey, Mr. Godzilla, good night, man. No, Frogs is racing. I'm getting to my own rig, man. I mean, the sound of my old rig and the sound of my new one. You can rewatch the video, man. David, thank you so much for your support, man. I'm having the best time ever. I'm having the best people watch me. I can't wait for tomorrow for the race. I should have been practicing for a month tomorrow, but instead of I wanted to get this seat together, you know? I don't want to do it on Christmas Day or something like that. The guys from GD Omega are so kind to send me this so fast. I agree, there should be drive through felt for the dog. 100,000%. Bad dog. So. Wow. It is too close, though. Burn. This 
you're gonna be faster lap times, guys. I can always, I can tell right away. I think the armor should be all right like this. The fuel seats, like this seat is missing. <laughs> this seat is missing uh, ports. <laughs> Leon says his GD Omega is like super small. Mine is too big. Like I'm 115 kilograms fat and I'm 187 centimeters high so if you want to like measure difference between you and me for a rig like this I'm 187 centimeters high and I am 115 kilograms weight yeah Joe but you're skinny man no MJ no I'm not using that I'm like the the lumbar things and the headrests. <laughs> no, all, all but no wiser. I ask myself for a big one <laughs> because I know how fat I am. You know, like a nice thing would be like a hole here, you know, like that.
play the shifter as well. I don't know if it's a good idea to play the shifter because I'm not using it at all. Oh my god, a donation? Are you crazy? Hey, Sunday Driver, thank you for six dollars, man. Just kiss him. Check it, bring him, what do you mean? <laughs> I mean, like, when I'm gonna place the pedals and I'm gonna screw everything, it's not gonna move at all, you know? I don't know if I should add the shifter, because I'm not using the shifter, you know? I don't use the shifter, like, the shifter goes here. I see it push like this. And... You can have the shifter right here, you know? But I'm not using it, so... I don't know if I should, but yeah, I think we should probably. We should probably do it, boys. Driver, man. Oh yeah, David. My old one is 33. My old GD Omega range is 33 centimeters. The the new one is 37, and RS9 is 34. Yeah. No, I don't use the cup holder, man. I broke my old cup holder. There's no cup holder here. staying with me. I know this is something different than I usually do, but I hope you enjoy at least some fun. I know the start was a little funny. <laughs> I had to ban my dog from the room now when she destroyed my camera.
<laughs> Mitch, thank you. You know, guys, tomorrow at 3 p.m. Central European time, we're gonna do 24 hour Le Mans race in our racing. You definitely should tune for that. We are a 24 hour stream. I'm not, I'm not gonna be at the cockpit all the time, of course, but not during the night, but yeah. A lot. We're gonna be driving a lot. My knee's gonna hurt tomorrow, guys. It's gonna be so bad. Where's my tool? Two hours, two minutes. But MJ, you need to, like, you know, Zal had the uh, help with his father. I had the help in my dog, but not that much, to be honest. <laughs> I can place it like this, so I have it like the most third as possible. Go. I'm like taking parts from my old rake, you know. Oh, I'm okay. okay. Some of my old brick. <laughs> I think I uh, took some of the parts from it. Oh my god, a donation? Hey. Are you crazy? <laughs> hey, thank you, Joe, for that dollars back. All the gear and no idea. I feel like I'm missing some uh, 
some parts. So much for the support. I did something wrong here, you know? I, 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 uh, for the shifter I used something wrong, but it's a sample, you know? <laughs> if I care how you did it, the result is the most important. Thank you. See somebody appreciating. This is fine. Alright. Okay, play the shifter. kicking my feet again you know because on the old rig I had issues with the space a lot it should be better awesome oh my god okay uh, I don't know if I will use the shifter to be honest it feels dangerous I'm gonna be stepping in the rig and kick myself here I'm gonna be driving. I'm gonna be trying to get out. I need to get out normal, you know? I need to be careful not to kick myself over this. Send me the new one. Because I really don't need this, you know. I can even place it somewhere else. Put the gear stick on the correct side and out the way will make the rig complete even if you don't use it. What do you mean? Like, like this is awesome, right? If I would have the H pattern working, I just sit like this. It's perfect, you know, except the... Uh, I don't... Come on. Yeah, I need to screw it more. So I have the, you know, rig required for H shift, but I don't use it, you know? Oh, you're on the left! <laughs> yeah. You freak! It's on the correct side! 
this on the different plate but I don't like it that way stream <laughs> gonna work on the pedals now. I just need to know approximately where I take them. Like how far I want them. <clears throat> but this is perfect. 
This is perfect for me. All right. I need a pals to be like that. All right. Hey, congratulations, really? Nice. It's much easier than the old rig. <laughs> I must say, I must confess, this is way easier. Than on the old one. What is the hole? You're on the Martin, I don't know. You can ask. You're on the Martin, you definitely need to ask the, the uh, support. I don't think it would be possible, but it depends on shipping and such. So, I don't know where to, you know guys, what will be the biggest issue? Because there is nothing, where should I put my, my pedal cam? <laughs> where to put the pedal cam? <laughs> That's the biggest issue right now. Like everything is perfect, super clean, super room, but where the fuck should I put my pedal cam? Hmm. Give me interesting. way better than the old one. The carpet is the biggest issue. Uh, 
Be right back. Sorry for my ass. Sitting a little more? No, I'm not going to sit. For <sighs> awesome! Look how big the seat is. <laughs> There's so much room here. On the old rig, I was always knocking my 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 knees and such, you know. But now I have a. But I now I have a room, you know. Finally, I have a room. I want to show you guys. Camera is broken, so for, sorry if you will fall down. So now we have a you know beautiful seat. I have so much room for the sides, and then I will move my I will move my uh, monitor closer, you know. So I have so much space right now. I just usually place my computer to the left. Okay, you know, on the old rig, you can see the sides here, hold it together, but they are not very not very friendly, you know. Sometimes, so I really like this. It's very sturdy, to be honest. It's very sturdy, so I like it. And the seat looks awesome. The seat really looks awesome. It's so big, and there's so much room here. I always had issues with this room, but it's awesome because if you work on my old rig, like you have these sides which are huge, so you can't sit properly. There's a you know this part very close the holes and such, so it's much safer, nice and sleek as MJ says, I absolutely, absolutely, honestly, agreeing with you MJ. To do I need to do clean cable management pedals are fine pedals are all right but the cable management for the wheel will be harder Is the cable it is the cable which makes the most issues our cable on PSPC race is the worst cable ever invented so I need to hold it here with this part uh, then we have a USB cable it's gonna be sleek it's gonna be easy to go like that easy just wanna have nice design you know so the cables will go through these loop, through these parts, no issues along. So let's go hold like this. The cables will go softly, you know. I want to have it clean, you know. I want to have it really, really clean. Then, which cable we are missing from the panels, of course, is this one, which will go the same size, same place around here. So I can have all the cables like do this part and then go down here. So I want like a super clean design, you know? Babiku! So I like it that way. I'm 
for cable management, I'm gonna use these things, which were in the, which were in the, in the box. And if they, if they belong to it, but yeah, the electricity cable will be the biggest issue. The electricity cable is the worst pain in TSPC Raider racer I've ever seen because it can really easily fall off, and I really hate it. As you could already see in my races. Cables are safe here. We're gonna do the same thing here. <coughs> no! Hey! basically have the beautiful cable management as you can see right now so we have like the cables here going through there just down here and I will stick it to the computer the biggest issue is this cable guys this cable is the power cable look how easy it is to pull away that's how easy it is this is best bad bad thing for Thrustmaster because this cable Usually you plug it, it should be like click, not this cable, not on TSPC racer, just go like that. It's horrible, it's horrible design, horrible design. If it's gonna come up, I'm gonna throw away the wheel, you know? So, yeah, so that's what we have. I'm gonna maybe place you a little more, guys. Yeah, yeah. Cool, you know? So the cables will be very like sleek. Sleek design. One of the cable I need is the USB cable which I usually provide here. The biggest issue now is this. My pedal cam. Because usually I had the pedal cam on the on the thing. You know, I had the uh, my other webcam, I had it here in this position previously, like that, if you can see it like here, in this place, but where to put it now? <laughs> I don't know where. If I put it here, you will see my legs. If I can tape it to the, to the, I need to tape it probably to the table, but yeah, something like that, I don't know. I think maybe I can tape it to the table, like here, you know? And it's gonna be working the same. So it's gonna be something for tomorrow, guys. I'm not gonna bother you with that. Uh, so yeah. Basically how I race, like okay, the webcam is gonna be placed somewhere for now on the computer. We can deal with that tomorrow. Uh, I guess I'll place my computer back. Nice and easy voice. No, the only thing I'm missing now is the the wheel holder. <laughs> I usually have to buy my headphones here, you know. I have to place them here, for example. The only thing I plug my wheel. Is that we can work now? One more this one. Really, really use it for something proper. Okay, last safety measure. On these parts. Nice. So, we have the wheel working. Uh, Joseph, I'm using my computer to streaming. Only one computer, man. Um, if I would have, I would definitely want another computer.
This is what I'm gonna be racing. I'm gonna place the microphone somewhere else, guys. I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna do the race. I don't know if we should do some practice. I'm gonna do it later. I just used the OBS, yeah. I'm gonna use the open broadcast software right now. So basically when I wanna race, I do this. I have a perfect alignment. Place the screen like that. Voila! This is our race. So I'm gonna be basically sitting like this with the wheel here so we can uh, Probably turn on some game, so you have the idea. And we can test the rake. Oh my god, that ass! Holy shit! So we, we turn on the iRacy, for example. So you can see. Did you miss the camera, Lask? Did you miss the camera? No, when I used to go to the TV, but I know. Tudle, ona běžela jako vedle a najednou běžela jako šílená zpátky a jak letěla, tak jsem tak zbodletěla kamera a tohle mi urvalo, takže teď to drží jenom jako na nechtu. Že teď se jí urvaný. So basically, what I'm gonna race now, because I, I sit like this, you know, there's much more room now, <laughs> much more room. <clears throat> Can maybe put a wheel a little bit higher, you know? I just want you to see how we will drive. I need to walk the dog again. <laughs> hey Leon, my wheel, my s Leon, you're here. Leon, this this chair. Look at this chair. <laughs> it's so huge. The chair is so big. I can I can fit twice there. Leon, I need to tell you after, man. I need to tell you after. The seat is so huge. The seat is uh, twice bigger than my old one. Look at this. When I sit, how small I am. <laughs> I'm so small. I'm sitting too low even. I'm sitting like super low right now. By the way, this part behind is uh, harder than the old one. So basically, we race tomorrow. You'll be like this. I don't know if you can see it, guys. Is it on my have my screen now? It's 30, 34 inch Alienware. I don't have the wheel aligned, so it's not gonna be 100. I have different changes on wheel now. Awesome. There's so much room for the legs. There is so much room for the legs, Leon. This is how I'm gonna raising tomorrow. This is gonna be so easy. I'm gonna be. So, I'm so. I don't know what to where to place my hands now. Leon, wait in the stream, please. I need to show you something. So this is how I'm gonna be racing tomorrow, guys. I have my my wheel is 900 degrees now, but the game in the wheel is. Uh, no, my wheel is 900 in the game now, so it's not aligned. But this is how I'm gonna be racing tomorrow. You know. I'm sitting so low. I'm sitting so low, my back's gonna hurt because this part behind is too big. It's too hurt, hard. You know, this part behind me is hard. It's harder. I need to get my perfect seated position, you know? I don't feel like I'm sitting exactly how I want to. So we're gonna be racing like this, guys. I need to show Leon something, but oh my god, this is gonna be so easy. I'm so happy with my chair right now. <laughs> The wheel is not wombly. The wheel is way more better. You know what's wombly? This wheel. This is wombly. You see? This is wombly. But this, this part, good. 
feet. So the 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 rig is perfect solid, but my wheel is wombly as fuck. You can see it how it's super sturdy, super it's like more sturdy than my old rig, because the the parts are so big. So this, the only part like. I can move this, you know, but not that much as the old one. You know, the only thing is moving is my wheel. See? Look at this. This is how my wheel is broken. This. This is what my rig does. Not my rig, my wheel. This is how my wheel is broken. If you are questioning, you know, the rig is perfect. Rig is awesome. I want to I want to show something to to Leon by the way. Leon. Uh Leon, check this out. There is nothing here, no sides here, so I can place my legs. I can place my legs wherever I want. You know? I can place, I, it's so different because I can place my legs wherever I want from the sides. Then, you have the chair. Leon, the chair. I don't think you can see it too much. This size on my old cockpit was 32 centimeters. This one is 37. So it's way bigger than the old one. And you can see on the old one, these parts, I was always hitting those, and these parts were too close to each other. So I'm like, I'm sitting like, not, I'm sitting in so much space right now, you know? So, you know, the problem is, the, the wheel is the problem. And this wheelbase, it's still moving. By the way, this, I don't want to be lying, you know? So, this wheelbase, it's moving a little bit. But, compared to the old one, is nothing. My old one was doing like, mm, 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 you know, so it's way, way, way better. Way better. <laughs> <You're midget. laughs> See, Leon, there is nothing. Leon, there is nothing on the sides. I don't think, I don't think this, without these parts, can hold the direct, deal, wheel, direct dry wheel. But I don't know, because I never had one, so I don't know. I feel like I'm using enough of the feedback, you know, so it's hard to say. So this is like a, sl this is like a super clean design for me, you know? Like this part. You know, super easy right now. Super easy. You know, there's so much room. I'm like, I wanted to show you, Leon, here. You see this? This part? Like blue? That's from racing, because when I'm like driving, there's a, there's a rod, and I'm like resting my leg there. So that's so much better, you know? <laughs> Leon, yeah. So I want to get closer. I'm going to compare. Let's compare, okay? Give me a second, guys. unscrew some stuff so the cooperation GT Omega 001 seven years old hundred thousand farts hundred thousand farts hundred fifteen kilograms hundred eighty seven kilo, uh, centimeters high seven years perfect this place is perfect compared to the new one this place is so soft you know so soft that's a plus, that's the plus. The leather is awesome. The difference, you can see, like these parts are like, this part is like five to seven, ten, ten, seven to ten centimeters. So you are like inside, so you don't move to the sides. That's perfect. 
Dune. The problem with the old one, when I was racing, was this part. Because wherever I sit, with the legs like that, I always rested my leg here. And that's why I have the hole in my, uh, in my, uh, that's why I have the hole in my, uh, legs, you know, of the racing. So, these parts were the issue. It makes the wheel really sturdy, this part very sturdy. There are no screws there obviously, but it's more sturdy. So that's perfect. So cooperation with the chairs, look how big this one is. Can I get it closer? Can you see the difference? Like this one is go this one goes really low, like down, you know? That's good, I like it. It's seven years, this one is seven years old, guys. Seven years. So, this part is small. Hey, good night, MJ. You can see how wide this one is. Can you see the wide? How wide is it, comparison? Then, you go down, nothing to the sides. I don't have a shifter, obviously, but nothing. Nothing here to the sides. So perfect space, perfect room. And you just sit here and you can enjoy your racing. There is another screen for you guys. That's how I race right now. I have the chat over there on the right, obviously closer. This is our race right now on the new screen. 34 inches wide screen, Alienware 21 to 9. I love the sleek design here to the sides. I'm not entirely sure if this, only on those two ruts, can hold the direct driver wheel, but I never had one, so I don't know. <laughs> so maybe if I will get one someday, I can tell you guys. But right now it's perfect. Pedal sturdy, everything sturdy. So there's the difference, you know. Look, you can see just the, you know, what's this? Like, look how this is wide. It's uh, you know square and at heart. This one is too tiny and it's whole like round, you know. So it's a big difference there. But perfect old design, perfect old design. So this is how it works. I will practice for the month tomorrow, guys. <laughs> I will not make it today. So, yeah. So I hope you guys enjoy this. I hope you enjoy this, guys. Tune in tomorrow, 3 p.m. 10 European time for the month 24 hour race, guys. Let's go with how we gonna race. So, I can really recommend, like, I really like it guys. If you want to get 5% discount for all GT Omega stuff, you can use my nickname Charger for the store. There's the links, affiliate links below the video in the description. And yeah, thank you so much GT Omega for sending me this rig because it's awesome. I'm gonna miss the old one though, but yeah. Like it's gonna be so much easier to get in and out. It looks so nice, I love the logo. I love the black design. I love it. It's like super big, you know? I assume after some time, this part, because I'm heavy, will go like lower, you know? So we will see. But right now, it's good. I'm sitting very low, by the way. I'm like, when, when I compare like this to this, I need to place this a little lower, a little bit. But I like it though. So yeah, that's it. GT Omega. Art cockpit with uh, XLRS seat. And the wheel position is okay. I think the, this part I can place like here, you know, like uh, two centimeters lower, and I'm gonna be very happy, you know? Because this is how I see it right now. I really like it like that. Maybe I can place the pedals, I will change the pedals a little bit higher tomorrow, you know, like a more degree. So the pedals are like right now only like let's say 10, 15 degrees, I'm gonna make it a little bit more, you know? So yeah. Yeah, Morphe, I wouldn't recommend if you are 56 kilograms. I am I am 115 kilograms heavy and 187 kilograms high. So this is exactly what I need, you know, for me. I need the comfortable, you know? You know, you can get, you can get like a super racing seat, but the problem with the super racing seat is you don't need them because you don't get any g-forces so if you buy a seat which is like on the sides around you you know to to help you not die when you crash with the with the with 
things, everything. And I really like it, you know? Like on the old seats, you, on the racing seats, you have the part here around you and the body around you. So you hold the G-forces and uh, you hold everything and you have a like safety for your head when you crash, you know, so you don't die. You don't need it in your chair at home. That's why I like the new design because you can see like when I'm sitting here, this part is almost here, you know, it's like very, I'm sitting very low. It's perfect because I'm not moving to the sides. But on the new rig, when I sit down, okay, give me a second, my dog broke the camera by the way. <clears throat> on the new rig, it's so hard for me leaving this one. I just, ah, you slide right in, you know? Perfetto, perfetto, amazing design. So, I'm gonna be enjoying this. So, you know, I don't even, I think the only thing is gonna be to like use it and get it softer here, you know? Because I think this back part, this, this part is a little harder than I'm used to. This one was more soft on the old one. That's the only thing I need to change right now. Otherwise, I'm super happy how I'm sitting. Super happy. Awesome. I'm really happy. Thank you, GT Omega. Thank you so much, guys. Whew. We are going to race 24-hour race of Le Mans in racing tomorrow. This new seat is going to get some action and some new farts. <laughs> it's going to be like, honey, boot, boot, boot. things like that, you know? I like the comfort, you know, because uh, just see how easy, you know, but when I'm like sitting in this one, it, I want to show you, like, when I'm sitting in this one, I'm sitting so down, I need to do like hard movement, it was like so down, you know, so, <laughs> I think I need to go to my girlfriend, by the way, I think I've been, it's almost midnight, I think we have done enough. Guys, I think we made it very quickly, to be honest. GT Omega Art XL cockpit. We're doing now. The wheel is very good. We tested that. This is much better. So, but we can test it really quickly, okay? If you want. I don't know where to put you guys. So you can see it. Without any issues. I don't want to scratch the floor, you know? Or we can test it together. A little bit. I'm gonna do just half a lap, okay? So you can see the wobbling. The problem is my my wheel. You can see? Can you see the movement? It's like my wheel is broken, you know, so it's like moving a lot. But this part is moving like nothing, like to the left side, so a little bit. If you compare it to the old one, it's like my, I should have told, show you the old one. My old one was doing this. This one is like, not doing anything at all. So I'm happy. <laughs> so if you go on the race track, my wheel is not a line, by the way. I think you can see it yourself. How does it work? I feel it's much better than my old one. The movement, you know? It's obviously moving just a little bit, but I don't know. Compared to the old one, it's nothing. I'm just wondering what I, I need to like, you know, it's a, like always when you get something new and change it, you need to make your seat position perfect for yourself. So, we'll see. I feel like the movement is way better, you know, when I do this. You can see it's moving, but it's nothing compared to the old one. You should have seen my old one. But compared to this, nothing. I'm kind of surprised. 
I don't think it's for DD wheel. I would like if you wanna if you wanna get GD Omega and you're expecting to have a direct dry wheel, I would go for the Pro. But you know, Pro Rig because the Pro Rig has these holders, so it's way better for uh, direct dry wheel. You know. Yes, yes, you can align this, you can change it more to the more angle. So this part, it can move like that, like uh, like a little bit, you know? I have this zero angle here. You can move it like, like, uh, like this, for example. So, so basically, I want to see the difference. I'm going to tell the difference. I don't have the direct wheel and I have never had it. So I have no idea how bad is it. But I would say for normal wheel, this is perfect. It's very sturdy, you know? It's very sturdy. But if you are, a, this is art copy. If you are expecting to get the direct drive wheel, uh, I would get the Pro because the Pro has the holders here. Which is make it like impossible to move, like impossible to move. So I would say this is perfect for me. My use is perfect, you know. I find out what I need to change. I need to do alignment. My seat is not straight. Like right now, I'm not sitting exactly straight. I need to move myself a little bit like that. I'm sitting too much like that. So I need to fix it tomorrow. I need to sit a little bit like that. So. Yeah, something is broken. Not on the rim, but yeah, on my wheels, something is broken. You can see it, you know? But there is nothing I can screw. I tried. I tried. There's nothing to screw up. So, yeah. So, basically, for direct dry wheel, I would recommend Pro because it has the side holders, as Smitty says. And for normal wheel, this is like super comfortable. <laughs> I see all my shroom, you know? And I just see when I'm looking down, the only thing I need to fix. Is right now I'm sitting uh, like that to the side a bit I'm watching like there you know not that much but there so I need to fix it to go straight so it's gonna be simple simple fix but otherwise I'm happy awesome I love the chair I love the room here I love the room here because that was my big problem that was big problem guys so yeah Whew. guys I'm happy I'm happy 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 I would like to thank so much GD Omega for giving me this ring, for partnering with us. We have a 5% discount for all the stuff they have on their store. You can order from uh, Europe, from United States, from Canada. You get a 5% discount. And yeah, TomTom, uh, Tom, I don't think so. <laughs> I need to go shopping again. So I hope so. I need to really wake up tomorrow early and practice. TomTom, Tom, okay? I'm very sorry because it's midnight already. My girlfriend's gonna kill me. But I hope you guys enjoyed, I hope it was good, I hope you enjoyed uh, how everything works. Uh, yeah, so only thing I need to fix right now is the seat, but that's only my fault, you know, everything is everything, uh, a working life. I think we kind of made it really fast, you can rewatch the stream guys if you want to see it like from the start. Uh, we were fixing my old rig, we moved the side and the new one got instead of that. Art cockpit from GD Omega with XL RS seat for fat people like me. So much cozy, so much room. I really like it. So the only thing I need to fix is the, the degree of the chair. Is it gonna be, oh damn, I'm just looking at it, it's gonna be fucking hard. It's like I need like two degrees, no more, no less. <laughs> hey, Sunday driver, see you tomorrow, man. Ah, Tom Tom, yes. <laughs> so, guys, I'm gonna end the stream right here. See you tomorrow, guys, at the iRacing uh, 24 hour race. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you had some fun because I think the star was absolutely hilarious. You need to rewatch that if you haven't. And yeah, guys, see you tomorrow, guys. See you, see you, see you, see you, see you. Bye bye, good night. Did you know that you can get extra 5% discount on all GT Omega products? You can simply use discount code JARIER before your checkout in your shopping cart. Make sure to use proper links if you are from Europe, USA or Canada. All the links are below the video in the description for your easier use.